This episode is sponsored by the Free Golden Eagle app. Check the uh, link down below. Yeah, yeah, do that. Use that code down there too. And uh, download, download the app. Helps me out, helps you out. Get some gold, you know? What is going on guys? It's your boy Slick and today we are back in War Thunder for a little tutorial video. It should be a quick video just to talk about something that I think a lot of people are curious about. Uh, now everything I'm going to tell you in like this video is all just my opinion. Duke decides to eat now, of course. I just start recording voice. Yeah? Is now appropriate? Ah yeah, so Duke has stopped eating. That was great 10 minutes um so what i'm going to tell you guys today not many not much gameplay maybe some test uh test ground stuff so if you're looking for gameplay or anything like that just wait till my next video later on today but what i'm going to talk about is the best rounds in my opinion to use at top tier there's a couple of things to choose from apds apheche uh some apheche i mean like the t10 we'll get that um apfsds and heat fs and hesh there's HE, but we're not going to talk about HE this video. My favorite round to use in the entire game, when it's working properly, is Heat FS. Heat FS is just my favorite. It's the combination of both worlds. It has the explosive mass to kill anything inside the tank, but it also has the penetration to get through thick-ass armor. Now, the problem that we thought was they're adding composite. How is Heat FS going to fare with composite? And it doesn't fare well if you're using Heat FS from something like a 105, an L7. Uh, the Leopard versus a T64. Let's just get my Leopard so you can see it. The Leopard will bounce off of a T64 if it's using Heat FS from the front most of the time. Now, not all of the time. The only thing that you have to factor in with what rounds you want to use is this tank and this tank the mbt um those two tanks and the rise i would suppose anything with era or composite armor you need to factor in how much pen you have and can you get through if i'm shooting at a rise i use a kinetic shell um, as you can see these are era bricks that are good at disposing of uh, atgms and heat-based chemical munitions that's what they're used for. So a kinetic round, they will do pretty much nothing to stop a kinetic round. You can send an APFSDS shell through any ERA brick in the game, and it will not matter. I think this is the only tank with ERA bricks anyway, so those, that's that's one example. Now, the MBT, it uses uh, spaced armor, composite spaced armor, and it'll tell you what it's effective against. You can see that it is less effective against chemical energy munitions. Now, chemical energy munitions are heat, heat FS, rounds like heat FS. 280 millimeters against it. So you can pen the turret with a L7 heat FS shell or any heat FS shell at top tier. And I use it. I like it. I think it's probably my favorite round now that it's been working and it's been killing things. Now there are some added benefits and I'm mainly going to talk about uh, heat FS versus APFSDS in this video. There are very, very few situations where I'll use anything else. If I'm in a chieftain that doesn't have an, uh, the APFSDS shell, then of course I will, um, like if I'm in a Chieftain Mark III, I'll use my APDS. Hash right now is not performing well and I wouldn't tell anybody to use Hash at all right now. So I think the true rounds that you should be looking at are HeatFS, APDS, and APFSDS. On tanks like the T64, they get APFSDS and HeatFS. We can take a look. We get the uh, BM12 round, the BM9 round, and then we get a HeatFS shell, 440 mils of pen. I use the BM-12. Um, I just like how accurate it is. It goes through pretty much everything that I have to shoot at. And it's just really easy to use. <laughs> I heard something. I was like curious what it was. Um, it goes through anything I need to shoot. So it's, you know, really easy to use. Nice round. And uh, it doesn't cost a whole lot, I don't believe. 450 450 Actually, it is. It's a pretty expensive round. Never mind. I lied. Wait. No, it's not. It's not expensive compared to the... The heat FS. The heat FS sixteen hundred. So on a round like the a tank like this, I'll use uh, APFSDS. Now the one twenty. The reason why I showed this video starting off with this, um, I use heat FS on this tank now. Unless I'm on a map that's really really large, I will use heat FS. And the reason why I use APFSDS on large maps because it's way easier to aim. You don't have to adjust for uh, as much in terms of up or down. And the round's going so fast that it maintains energy pretty far out and it will uh it'll do a lot of damage far out 
Now, I know that Heat FS technically doesn't lose any penetration from far away, but I feel like the round is less accurate, if that makes any sense, from far away. So I just prefer APFSDS. Now, Heat FS is working this patch. It's working better than it used to, and I still think that it's the best round in game right now because of what it can do when you're fighting normal tanks. When I say normal tanks, normal 8.0 tanks. If I take my Leopard A1A1 and I face everything aside from a T64, I would rather use HeatFS for all of those tanks. Sorry, I keep hearing things and I have to like pause to listen. I wanna hear what it is. I'm too curious. I can't like just stay in my own lane, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, HeatFS is my favorite shell in game right now. It's the most expensive round, so I wouldn't use it if you were low on SL or anything like that. You can see even on this tank, the Leopard, it is expensive as hell. But trust me, it works like it used to if you pen proper surfaces and where you're supposed to shoot. APFSDS and HeatFS perform similar. You shoot at the ammo. Shoot at the ammo when you use these guns. Um, and then when you're shooting at modern MBTs, the brand new 8.7s, always shoot for crew because they only have three crew. If you take out two crew um, in the first shot, then obviously you kill the tank. It, they can't survive a hit where they kill two crew members. So that's basically what I have to tell you guys. I could show you a bunch of gameplay of me using these rounds, but I have over the past week shown gameplay of me using HeatFS and whatnot. So if you're curious about what the 120 can do with HeatFS, go check my video down below, or not down below, it's just on the channel. Go check it out this week. I played the Leopard recently where I used HeatFS. Um, on stream, I have a clip that I'm going to be uploading soon of the Type 74, me getting nine kills with the Heat FS on that round, on the ta that tank, excuse me. And then you can see countless videos of me using APFSDS on the T64. What I want to know is what are your guys' favorite round? Let me know in the comments down below. For lower tier stuff, every round is different. Usually I use the round with the most explosive when I'm looking at an APHE shell. Um, because penetration means less to me when I can't kill things. If I have all the penetration in the world, but I can't kill things, I'd rather have less penetration and more stopping power. So that's basically what I like in a shell. I look for stopping power over penetration and just basically what is the most reliable round to use. Uh, and I think that's part of the reason why I like HeatFS. It's been way more reliable than APFSDS. Even though APFSDS does one shot, I've noticed that HeatFS will one shot more often when I'm aiming in the same spots. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, later on today, I have a cool video with the Waffenträger coming out. I hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace. I was a terror since the public school era. Bathroom passes, cutting classes, squeezing asses. Smoking blunts was a daily routine since 13. A chubby nigga on the scene. I used to have the Trey Deuce and the Deuce Deuce in my bubble goose. Now I got the Mac in my knapsack, lounging black, smoking sacks up in axe and sidekicks with my sidekicks, rocking fly kicks.